Hi guys, tonight I am going to decorate the inside of my Filofax Original Burnt Orange in the A5 size. I've already done this uh, dashboard in a process video, so I will link that below if you missed it. But tonight we are going to focus on this left side pocket of the planner. I'd like to decorate it for Thanksgiving and fall as well. Here are the supplies I pulled. I have some ephemera from Bella Boulevard and from Echo Park, the Story of Fall collection. I have two pen gems, one in white and one in orange. I couldn't decide which one I was going to use, so I pulled both of them. I have some washi tape from my collection that's all fall oriented. I thought they were all pretty, so I wanted to try using all of those as well. I have these two leaves, one in felt and one in glitter that I purchased at Archivers a long, long time ago. Two packs of enamel dots, one from Simple Stories and one from Doodle Bug. I have three different fall oriented paper clips. I like to use all of them, so they're all super cute. So I want to try and make them all fit. I have this classic to do post it notepad from Target Dollar Spot. And I also have four by six and three by four cards from. Echo Park's Story of Fall. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover that open raw leather right there. It always distracts me when I open up my original. So I want to put a piece of pattern paper there. These papers here are the 12 by 12 Story of Fall collection that I use for my dividers. I'm going to flip through them and see if I can find a pattern paper that will complement the inside of that pocket as well as the dashboard that I created. And there's a lot of fun papers in this collection, but some of them clashed with my dashboard. Some of them were a little too dark like that brown. Some of them were a little too on the bright side or matched too closely to the actual planner itself. And a lot of them were allowed and clashed with the dashboard. So in the end, I just decided on the plain blue. There is blue in my dashboard, so I wanted to emphasize it and pull it out a little bit. And I just cut a piece of paper that I slide in that pocket. And already visually, I like the way that looks better. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is work on these side pockets. These pockets are a little difficult in an original because they're sideways. So I have these glitter leaves and we have Bella that's going to come visit like usual. <laughs> she only stays for a short time. Now these side pockets are difficult in a Filofax original. So you kind of just have to be a little creative here. I like these leaves a lot. The stems are sticking out. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim them real quickly. And then I'm going to slide them back into that side pocket. And I really like the way that looks. Okay, um, I'm not sure which pen I'm going to use yet, so I'm going to put that aside and move on to my to-do post-it pad. I like this post-it pad from Target because it slides in that side pocket perfectly. And I'm going to take some enamel dots and I'm going to decorate the top of the post-it pad. Now you obviously can't do this to each post-it in the pad, but I like to decorate the top one because I think it just makes it look really cute and helps that post-it pad blend in with the rest of the decor that's going on in this planner. And I think that looks super cute. And that to-do post-it notepad fits perfectly in the A5 original slot. And then I'm going to go back to my pen gems. Um, at first I thought I wanted to use the white one because it is really, really pretty, but I felt like it matched too much to that to do notepad that it's touching. So I go to the orange and actually I stick with the orange, but after this video, I changed it to a gold one. <laughs> so I never did decide completely. Now I'm going to use this gobble paper clip which is so cute and I love that had to be included. And my favorite felt pom-pom clips, I'm gonna take my clear dashboard or fly leaf that I put over my dashboard and I'm gonna secure the fly leaf to the dashboard with the felt pom-pom clips. I love those clips so much. Now, I'm not really sure what to do with the latte clip, so I'm gonna put that aside for now and I will get back to it later. And I'm just gonna readjust things here. This is gonna be really quick because there's not a lot you can do with an original in those pockets. Now I wanna decorate that larger pocket a little bit more this is my current week that I'm currently working on my added side 
bar that I put in. And then I have a plastic envelope that holds my current week of stickers. These are the stickers I'm using for Thanksgiving and they're from Glam Planner. I'm going to put those in the inside pocket because I think they're going to look really, really cute and it just brings the whole fall theme together. And since I'll be using them for Thanksgiving week, they'll be perfect and in easy reach. So I'm going to add those to that large pocket. And I think that looks really, really super cute. And I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm still trying to decide on that pen. <laughs> <laughs> but I do stick with the orange one. Now I'm going to add in this latte paper clip. At first I wanted to put it up top, but then I decided I'm going to put it in that slot right there and I'm just going to clip it to that band. And I think that looks really cute. And just rearrange the stickers. And that's pretty much the most I can do with those side pockets. So I'm going to move on to using this washi tape. I made a washi tape card. So if I'm on the go and I need washi tape, I have easy access to it. And I'm going to tuck that in the larger pocket as well. And that is it, guys. That is the completed side of my planner. I really like the way it came out. Now I'm going to add one more thing. I have another clear fly leaf. If you can see I'm bending it in my light so you can see it is hard because it's see-through. And I tuck that in the large pocket and stick the edge under the rings. And basically what that does is it helps secure everything in that left side pocket. So nothing gets caught on those stickers or nothing falls out. And that's it guys. It is complete. I really hope you guys like this video. Please leave your comments below if you have any questions. And I really appreciate you guys coming to watch. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope everybody has a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Bye.